I'm Ray Wooden, and you're watching The Cocktail Report, Episode 2. I'm Dave Borden, and welcome to episode two of The Cocktail Report. Welcome back, everybody. Great to see you. Tonight, we're going to start with something uh, really simple, but really special, and uh, we got to make it a quickie, because i got a chickie waiting for a longie, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> you guys are bad. This evening's libation is a haughty and revered little number in my lineup. Tonight, we're going to look at Belgian Lambic. Belgian Lambic. What is Lambic, you say? Well, essentially, Lambic is a kind of beer. It's a fruit-flavored beer, but instead of being made with brewer's yeast, it's made with champagne so it gives it a, a different kind of bubbles, different kind of effervescence, if you want. We're looking at uh, Lindemann's, Lindemann's Peach Lambic. Look at that. It's Petch. It says Petch right there. Uh, Petch Lambic. This is going to run you about 12 bucks a bottle, and it is one of the best deals in alcohol. Let me tell you why. The flavor that comes from this, from the champagne yeast and the whole fruit fermented, this doesn't taste like beer. Think of champagne with fruit in it. It tastes like some sort of Cold War ballerina defected just to get in your pants. We're just going to jump right into this because uh, I got a chick waiting. But here's the, the craziness. We open this up, okay, but then you're good, but then you still... Got a cork. Why is there a cork in there, you ask? Well, because it's champagne, and the pressure of the, the uh, champagne yeast fermenting would blow up a normal beer bottle. You can see the bottom of this joker is uh, belled. Look, my finger's in there. So we're gonna take uh, Mr. Corkscrew. Mr. Corkscrew, did you ever see Friday the 13th, part four? Wham! Oh, first, my first horror movie ever. I think I was in like third grade. My first one with real boobs in it. It's, it's important when you're doing anything involving a champagne type beverage to look like you know exactly what you're doing at all times because you're just like, oh, you don't drink this? Hear the satisfying pop. Oh, it's got the little smoky comes out of it. Oh boy. This is uh, usually served as an aperitif, but you can also serve this uh, at a picnic. This is a good afternoon thing. Let me put a little more in there so you guys can see the flavor and I have an excuse to drink it. Um, look at that. On the webcam, a little hard to tell, but you can see uh, the bubbling, the effervescence, you can also see the color. If we have more backlight, this peach is just absolutely golden. Looks quite good, and the bouquet, I mean, it smells, it smells like peach champagne. Let's try some. Oh, I'm falling open again. You guys, stop looking down there. You couldn't handle it. Mmm. Fruitier than a sunny day in San Francisco. Seriously, you drink this, and you hear bells. Don't tell people. It's a variety of beer. Just give it to them and just be like, oh, it's this, it's this Belgian ale that I... Don't even tell them it's an ale. Just say, oh, it's this Belgian uh, champagne I got. I also have a bottle of the Frambrosia, but this is the Raspberry Lambic. I believe they, that Lindemann's also has a, um, like a black currant, or currant, black currant, black currant, what is that? Hey, you know, those little fruits. And uh, they have a cherry, which is sublime. My favorite is the Raspberry, but uh, I go back and forth. And try it out. Hit your local uh, thing. This should be priced under $15 a bottle. It's Lindemann's Peach Lambic. I've tried other brands, but nothing has ever come close. And if you're going to have Lambic, make sure it's Belgian and make sure it's Lindemann's. For the Cocktail Report, I'm Dave Warden. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes like every sunny spring day before the IRS took my boat. <laughs>